As we know, we are moving with the module number 4, that is Ethics in Engineering. In the first video, we have covered what is Ethics, what is Ethics in Engineering and in the last video, we have covered making moral choices. That is, when a person or when a manager is put into, into a dilemma, we have heard the word dilemma in the previous video, that means the situations where you have to select an option which is ethical as well as effective. Such situation is known as dilemma or you may say it, uh, it also as a critical situation. So in the last video we have covered making moral choices. How you select a choice from, your, from the dilemma situations which is effective as well as ethical. Now today we, we will go with a new topic that is resolving ethical dilemma. Now when you put into such a problem, into such a dilemma, you have to take an ethical resolution, ethical solution and that we will learn in this topic. In a business setting, managers are put to test when they face the challenge of resolving an ethical dilemma. Often, certain situations do fall in the official code of conduct and this is when the manager feels the heat. The problem with the ethical decision making is that a decision is itself cannot be taken in a vacuum. One single decision affects lots of other decisions and the key is to strike a balance to ensure a win-win situation is arrived upon. Though there are no golden rules to resolve ethical issues, but managers can take a number of initiatives to resolve ethical issues. Let's have a look on the principles of resolving ethical dilemma. In ethical decision making, there are three basic principles that can be used for resolving of problem. These three principles are first is intuitionism. The principle of intuitionism works on the assumptions that the HR person or the manager is competent enough to understand the seriousness of the situation and act accordingly. Here the HR or the manager knows the seriousness of the situation, seriousness of the dilemma and he or she act accordingly such that the final decision does not bring any harm to any person involved directly or indirectly. So first principle is intuitionism. Second is moral idealization. The principle of moral idealization on the other hand states that there is a clear distinguish between a good and bad, between what is acceptable and what is not. And that the same is true for all the situations. If therefore asked to abide by the rule of law without any expectations. So the second principle is moral idealization where a person or a manager knows what is good or bad and he distinguish clear distinguish between these two. And the third principle is utilitarianism. Utilitarianism concerns itself with the result or the implicants. There is no clear distinguish between what is good and what is bad. The focus is on the situations and the outcome. What may be acceptable in the certain situation cannot be acceptable on some other place. It underlines that if the net result of the decision is an increase in the happiness of the organization, the decision is the right one. So here, the total resolving ethical dilemma is divided into three principles as we have discussed. First is intuitionism, second moral idealization and third is utilitarianism. Now let's know how to resolve ethical dilemma in a workplace which is very much important as we know when we are dealing in the corporate world, when we are dealing in the organization, we will put or a manager is put into an ethical or ethical dilemma. That means a problematic situations. At that time, how he or she resolve ethical dilemma that we will discuss. Strong business ethics starts at the top of the company and works its way down to every level of operations. A code of ethics for business is the foundation of the guiding principles, both legal and valued oriented that companies use to keep their moral compass. 
if an ethical dilemma arises you should consider what is legal what is in the code of ethics and what is the best for the people involved and in the company the first step to resolve the ethical dilemma is start with legalities the law is usually pretty straightforward with what is allowed and what is not if the ethical dilemma is through to arise because of not following the law or because of compliance regulations the resolution is usually straightforward as well all employees are expected to obey the law if an employee is scheming money from the register hurting someone or foreign customers signature disciplinary actions should follow the confirmation of the legal activity it is important to not rush into the firing an employee keep in mind it is not important that you fire an employee from the company but follow the protocol as outlined in the employee manual which states what to do in this situations you usually start with restricting employee duties pending an investigations while keeping things as confidential as in the investigation allow determine if the employee actually broke the law then call the legal authorities if necessary not only do you need to stop the legal behavior you need to protect yourself and your business from the adverse legal actions for dismissing an employee without proper cause the so first start with legalities second review the code of ethics some ethics violations are less straightforward review the code of ethics and see how you have defined the situations as it permits to the started actions for example an employee might be accused of lying to client about product benefits in the course of your investigation you find out that the employee is using analogies that suggest the product does more than it really does but it is not directly lying about the product however you agree that the practice is misleading and creating unhappy customers so first of all you must review the code of ethics and you mu- you must know every point every principles every code of ethics next dealing with questionable behavior if the code of ethics clearly states that all employees are required to be honest and represent the company with a high sense of integrity you have a basis for disciplinary action don't jump to excessive disciplinary actions before you speak with the employee about the behavior it could be that he innocently thought it was a valid analogy explain what violates the code of ethics and upsets customers next is get input from a variety of sources input comes from a variety of sources if you are investigating certain actions you will need to speak to those who have observed the unethical activity don't exclusively rely on others employees to make a judgment on whether something is ethical or not but get a feel for how people react to the actions also speak to confidence and or mentor about what to do and the last second is consider the pros and cons sorry the last point is consider the pros and cons if the dilemma sits in the gray area of ethical behavior in the workplace make a list of the pros and cons of the situations to make the best possible decision if the code of ethics states that employees should not date each other and you determine that two key employees were dating you may not want to fire two of your best while they broke the rule you must evaluate whether you were blankly discussing the relationship at work whether it was distracting from duties or otherwise affecting other workers or customers you may ultimately realize the rule was not relevant to your company success and update the code of ethics so last is the consider the pros and cons so this is a five point how you resolve the ethical dilemma in your workplace in your organization start 
with the legalities and review the code of ethics you must review daily the code of ethics dealing with the questionable behavior get input from a variety of sources and last consider the pros and cons now last how difficulties you face in ethical decision making decision making involves a great degree of value clarity ethical decision making involves more unlike certain financial inventory and production decision ethical decision cannot be coded into a digital machines they require critical thinking and evaluations an organization is an amalgamation of various individuals and there is a conflict of interest at the personal level because these members each one is concerned about his benefit and neutral or opposing to the benefit or good of others this conflicts of interest leads to the situations that are morally challenging to the manager who wants to be moral and righteous to his own conscience and serve the interest of the organization here the dilemma arises on the decision upon the course of action in the second case a conflict arises when there is a distinguish to be made about facts and values this implies a situations where a manager con- control what is or weight the same against what ought to be for example an organization may spend a lots of resources upon developing researches or upgrading a certain product and serve which gets reflected in the final price of the later this increase in the price may be looked upon an exploitative exploitative by the end users yet another difficulty arises in the cases when there is a fine line dividing the good from the bad or the evil and the situations when there is a difference of options on what is morally permissible and what is not undoubtedly in our society the good and the evil exist side by side explain example in case in kenya because the formula was prepared in contaminated water the same formula proved life saving in other country the challenge lies in minimizing the evil and the trying to arrive upon the consciousness so this is how the conflict arises when there is a distinguish made upon facts and values in the era of uncertainty it is almost impossible to predict the outcomes of decision making one of the principle of ethical decision making assumes that the outcome of the decision is known and that the decision that results in the greatest good for greater number of people is the best practically anticipating the exact outcome of the course of action is impossible this uncertainty is at the root of all activity and ethical decision making lastly we say that ethical standpoint of organization and their critics are opposed and based on the entirely different set of reasons here the ethical arguments made to justify intentions are by large incompatible for example an environment organi- organization may justify itself by saying that it is adding more value to the society and to individual lives making it more comfortable by its products and services so these are some difficulties that one or the manager face in ethical decision making so in this video we have covered the topic resolving ethical dilemma as we have discussed dilemma means the situations in which we have to select an options with it, which is effective as well as ethical next topic of module number 4 will be further discussed in upcoming videos thank you